Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And it is the 1st of February, which means it is time for a brand new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around to get a look at the new printable, see my first set, find out who sponsored it, and how to download the printable for yourself for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The first of the month is always an exciting time here on my channel. It is what some of you have dubbed Sheetload of Cards Day. If you're new to my channel or to Sheetload of Cards, this is a free two-page printable that I put out each month that gives you a new sketch, supply list, and cutting guides to make the most of your paper and yield a sheetload of cards. This is usually anywhere between 6 and 12 cards, depending on the sketch and the paper size that we use. On the first of each month, I debut the new printable, and on the second, I come back and show you how I made my first set. Speaking of the second of the month, that is also when my team of collaborators join me and share their sets using the latest sheet load of cards. I have collaborators here on YouTube and over on Instagram. Everybody is linked in that description box below if you want to go ahead and subscribe and follow them so you're all ready for tomorrow. And starting last month, we are having a special guest artist join us each month. I would like to introduce you to our guest artist for February 2024, Terry of the Terry Cowan's YouTube channel. I have noticed her for months sharing Sheetload on her channel and was super excited when she agreed to join us. Up on screen now is a link to her YouTube channel and I will also have it in the description box below. Now let's do a little Q&A with her. If you don't already subscribe to Terry's channel here on YouTube, I hope you'll take a minute to do that after this video. This month I also have a special sponsor of my first set of cards, and if you couldn't tell, that is not too shabby. I will be unboxing their new Junior Box of the Month here with you in just a minute so you can see what I'll be working with tomorrow. Not only did I get some products to work with, but Jamie sent me some extra goodies to give away to one lucky subscriber. And in tomorrow's video, I'll tell you how you can enter to win those. Not only did she give me a prize to give away, but she is also offering you 15% off your non-club kit purchases at her online store. I'll have that coupon code up on screen now and more information on it in the description box below. Let's go ahead and take a close-up look at this month's printable. Here's a look at the new printable, February 2024. This month, we are going to use 6x6 paper, and with just 4 sheets, you are going to yield 8 cards. Now, the sketch might look a little familiar to some of you, and that's because in September of 2023, I celebrated my 50th sheetload of cards here on YouTube with a special 5x7 card sketch. I let you know at that time that I would be back in a later month to show you how you could translate that to an A2. So this is pretty much the same sketch, it's just made a little bit smaller for our regular card size. If you want to check out the 5x7 edition, I will have a link to the debut video down in that description box. Besides those four pieces of 6x6 pattern paper, you'll need two and a half sheets of solid cardstock for matting and sentiments, and four cardstocks to cut and fold for your card bases. As always, if you don't want to make a full sheet load of cards, I give you the dimensions for each of the pieces. 
One thing I always say about sheet load of cards is that it's a great jumping off point for you to make your cards your own. And each month I do give you some alternative ideas of things you can do to make it a little bit different. Whether that is popping pieces up, maybe rotating the sketch. Again, make it fit your papers, your focal points, your needs. This month, just like with September, I do have a special channel member bonus that's going to help you cut the semicircle. I will tell you in tomorrow's video how and where you can find that SVG download link. Speaking of channel members, I do have a few that I'd like to take a minute to recognize. In the month of January, I had some channel members earn their two year badge. So I would like to give a great big shout out and thank you to Pat's car, Danetta Morse, Dorothea Cotton, Emily Henry, Darcy Bluma, Deb Spoonoggle, Debbie W. Laura McMillan, Diane Lee, Deborah Forrester, Elva McNerlin, Cynthia Hull, Sandra Camelgarn, Dale Fritchell, Creations by Klaus, Stacy Hinton, Wolch Fam. Mary Gao, Kathy Rodriguez, Deborah Storbeck, Sandra Buchanan, Carol St. Andrew, Katharina Zwollen, Poppy Visions, Sharon Brubeck, Claire Vesey, and Nicola Jefferson. Thank you so much for your continued support. Page two of the printable is going to have your cutting guides. You can see how to cut each of the pattern papers and the card stocks. Now this month, I do only call for half a sheet of cardstock for the focal points or for that semicircle, but this is also a great one for you to use scraps on if you have them. In tomorrow's process video, not only will I be telling members how to download that free SVG, but I'll also be showing you how you can make your own semicircles. Before I show you my first set of cards using the February 2024 sheet load of cards, let's go ahead and unbox that junior box of the month from Not Too Shabby so you'll see the products I'll be working with. Is that not the most fun box you've ever seen? But what's inside of it is even better. Let's go ahead and take a look. The Not Too Shabby Junior Box of the Month includes two stamp sets, a package of ephemera, and a six by six paper pad. I will have a link to the Junior Box of the Month, as well as all of their possible subscriptions down in that description box below. Now, if you do sign up to receive it monthly, you get a discount and who doesn't like to save? As soon as I saw the rainbows from this month's junior box, I was super excited. This first set is called Boho Rainbow Builder. You can make your own rainbows in different colors and it has some great sentiments and little icons to go with it. The second stamp set is called Rainbow Notes, and this is what I'll be using on my first set for the month. It has a few different rainbows, and one of them has this little box below it where you could turn it into fun little note cards. You could use it in a planner. I think it would even make a cute bookmark. It also has some great sentiments to go with it. I especially like the sending you sunshine and rainbows. The pattern paper pad is called Tweet and it is tweet looking, let me tell you. It has some great pastels and not only does it include sheets with a rainbow pattern, but there's some cute birds, bird nests, and coordinating solids to go with it. Let's go ahead and flip through this real quickly. This paper pad contains 24 sheets and there are 12 different designs. 
And last but not least is the ephemera. Let me go ahead and pull this out of the package so we can take a closer look. This ephemera package is chock full of adorable pieces that use the colors and the images from the paper pad. And if you don't want to stamp your focal points, some of these would make great replacements. I hope you enjoyed getting to see what all was in the box. Don't forget to check out those links in the description box below and save on non-club items with that coupon code. Let's go ahead and take a look at my first set of cards. I hope you enjoyed getting a look at my first set. You might have noticed that I added some sparkly sequins there and I popped up my colored rainbow onto the card front for some added dimension. I did end up using every little bit of the pattern paper by adding just a little piece to the inside that was left over. Don't forget, I'll be back tomorrow to show you how I made these. Let me tell you now how you can download the printable for free. If you would like to make your own sheet load of cards using the February 2024 printable, remember I do ask that you are subscribed to my channel. So before you click on the link, which I'll tell you where it's at here in just a minute, please make sure you have already clicked on that subscribe button. Now before we get to that, I do have one heads up about the files starting this month. You are gonna notice a third page in the file, and it's actually the first one that you'll see, that gives you some copyright and intellectual property information. Unfortunately, last month I was contacted by a few subscribers wondering if others were sharing my sheet load inappropriately. I had started putting a little copyright blurb on page one in 2023, but I do want to just take a minute and reiterate. If you would like to share sheet load with a friend, if you would like to do a card swap, you must send them to my video to find out how to download the printable. Having you guys watch the video along with the support from my channel members is how I keep sheet load of cards free for all. I don't want to have to put this behind a paywall, but I do need you to be watching that and not sharing this. That includes taking photos of it and sharing it, putting direct links to my download in your videos or groups, and scanning it and redistributing it. If you do have any questions on how you would like to use a sheet load of cards, reach out to me. My email address is always at the bottom of the description box below. When you download the file, you do not need to print this page. You can just tell your printer to print page two and three, or if you use it, the online version, if you don't print it, you can just scroll down to the pages you'll need to create your cards. Please everybody, I have always said it, we just go on the honor system here. I don't ever make you sign up for anything and I want the sheet load of cards to stay free. So please, I ask that you help me. Now, one thing I don't want you to do is like go out and reach out to people who you think might be using it incorrectly. I will take care of that if you want to send me an email. I don't want any of you to feel that you have to police sheet load of cards for me. Thank you for your understanding and I really do hope to be able to continue to share my printable for free here with you. Now that that's out of the way, let me tell you where you're going to find the link to this month's PDF. In the description box below, all the way down at the bottom, is a link to the PDF. Now below that it says to watch the video for your password, but you watching this far is your password. Again, Having you watch the videos is how I keep sheet load free. You can download the file and print it, or you can just open it up and use it on screen. That is up to you. You can also print it out in black and white. It will work just as well. Until tomorrow, when I'll be back to show you the process of how I created the cards and tell you how you can get your hands on that junior box of the month from Not Too Shabby, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. 
I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.